Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hawk and this is of course my time at Portia. We are jumping back into our game where last we left off we had just finished defeating the Rat King um, in WoW Industries which is a tower above Bassanio Falls. And of course we got this cool bandana Oh, that you can't see because I'm too close to the camera. Uh, this cool bandana from the badges that we earned during the martial arts tournament. So, some things I would like to accomplish in this episode. First things first, I identified when I was editing the last video, I was going to make this industrial furnace uh, so that I would have something that would be constantly kind of going for iron bars. However, when I was refueling this specific furnace, I realized... I am just about out of iron. So we are going to need to go to the iron mine. Uh, and I will check here as well. How are we doing on copper? Okay, we've got a little copper for a while anyway. But we will probably also have to hit that mine in the very near future as well. And we've got marble planks and bronze plates going. Is there anything else? Okay. Um, how many more does this have to do? Three. And apparently I need five for that specific furnace. I guess let's just have this one make five more. Uh, and we made two pulleys just to have on hand, because that is one thing that we had in this list that we no longer, or that we didn't have any of. Uh, we don't, we can't make that yet, I'm pretty sure. I can't, definitely can't make this. I don't have gunpowder. I don't even know where to get gunpowder, and I don't know where this... Oh, from work table level three. Oh. Oh! And a magnesium powder from an electric furnace, which we don't have yet. Um, which brings me to my next point. Uh, what do I want to have you do? I don't know much of the tin alloys left. Just make one anyway. Um, my next point being that I need to get to the research center. And I need to get research started because we have none going for probably about the last two days. I got so excited about having... Um, finally gotten the cooking set and managed to get it on time that I never got research started again after that. Oh yeah, so you can see we're completely out of iron now. And this we just have going on stone bricks because we just have um, so much stone and we found out that it is more lucrative to sell the bricks than it is to sell the stone. Okay, and then I think this needed the marble. And we need steel plates, and I've only got four of them on me. Why do I have so much stuff in my inventory? I apparently was very late getting back at whatever the last time was that we played. And like I said, I had wanted this industrial furnace for the purpose of... I got a bunch of charcoal left over. And I need to open that bird's nest. Uh, I wanted it for the purpose of just getting some other things going kind of non-stop. I'm going to put this over here. Because I think I'm going to try to get a shed. And see if I can squeeze it in there. And that's where I will put the cows. That I have stuffed in a chest somewhere. Um, so... What do we want this doing for now? I think that I can make... Yeah, let's make some additional of these tin. Then maybe once it's done, we'll have it going on lead until we need the iron. Okay, and bird's nest, open you, and we need to put the pulleys away. Which would generally go in a crafting chest, but that is very full. Um... 
think I had also figured out between episodes that I'm going to try to put those chips in. So right now I've got some of these chips in here. I'm going to just make this badges and chips in general. Okay. And do we have anything going on? So this is kind of, it's a, not a time mission, but this of course is for Higgins. I don't have all of this. I don't, specifically, I don't have the small engines at this point. I used my, my last small engines to make the water engine. And I won't probably get any more of those unless I go into the copper mines or the hazardous ruins in the collapsed wasteland. This I'm still asking around about. This is for the dog scraps that Polly has been looking for. Oh, we've got some stuff. We've got resources. I should go up there and I should contract them to bring me more wood. And what do we got here? From Martha. Hi, Hawk. Emily stopped by to thank me for the tarts. She said Sophie really enjoyed them. Thanks again for your help. Since you did all the work, here's the payment. Well, that's good. I was wondering how that worked out, that she was requested uh, to give tarts to Sophie, um, but then she, I had to provide all the resources. Uh, from Ginger. Dear Builder, hello. If it's not too much trouble, can you collect some topaz for me? Ginger, uh, I have some. How many do you need? Three. Okay, we can probably do that. So let's sort all of this stuff back into here. And Topaz would be in here. Okay, so we just need to find Ginger. All right, so we are going to... We're going to ride the DD up to the tree farm and see about getting some additional resources delivered on a daily basis since... We just have endless problems with wood. Why are the trees still brown? I fixed this problem, did I not? I will take your mushrooms, however. Are these choppable now? I swore that these trees were choppable. Okay, I guess not. Alright. Okay. Okay. Production level one. So I can adjust the types. What happens if I upgrade? Oh my gosh. Uh, no, that's a very expensive. <laughs> um, if I reduce this to no sap. How much more wood can I put in here? Uh, apparently, I was looking down here, but apparently this is red, so 100, and if we reduce the amount of hardwood, nope. Okay. Okay, so apparently it's you have to stay sort of within all of these numbers. Um, so I've got two additional goals here. I guess got another plant fiber. Because <laughs> I can't seem to get more of these. I'm not sure why it turns red. I mean, it's it seems as though I'm still within that... the higher the demand the higher the price but let's just do that i guess confirm okay all right now i need to find ginger who is i have absolutely no idea where normally you get a, a map indicator that tells you where you're supposed to deliver these things i mean generally she is oh you know what there's a cutscene. That's why I don't have just the blue map marker. Okay. Um, well, let's go to the peach... Pl <laughs> I guess I can't go there. I actually need to go to the stop. Let's go to the peach plaza stop. No. Let's go to the research center stop.
since we're going to the iron mine, I don't want to, you know, go to Peach Plaza and then go visit Ginger and run down here for research, only to run back to the iron mine. It kind of made more sense to start here. Hey, Petra. Hi. Let's chat. We made a special filter for our water supply so that we'll be able to filter the bigger pollutants. I don't think we can do much about the microscopic chemicals, so continue to boil your water, I guess. But I fixed the pipe. There should be no polluted water. Hi. Did you discover something new? Oh, look, we are completely out of five data disk research now. We can only ha give her 10 or 20. That should be enough data disks. Still, if you want to expedite um, our research, you... the data corruption on these disks are yes. minimal. You'll have something for me tomorrow. I don't really have enough to give her. Um, yeah, I only have seven left. Because we were expediting research the last couple times I gave her the disks. Okay. Hello, Remington. Here comes Pinky. He's so cute. Um, am I on the right level for Gale? I... Gale's house up another one. No, this is Gale's house. I just ran right by it. Ginger, your friend Hello. is here visiting you. Thanks for coming. I just ch and jumped right in. I wanted to come visit you, but my condition doesn't allow me outside much. I also didn't want to bother you at night. It's not a problem. Here is the topaz you wanted. Thank you. What do you need these for? Well, I have a lot of free time, so I do handicrafts. I can't go out and get my own materials, so I'm always depending on everyone to help. Oh, right. Here's your pay. Hmm. I, I don't think I need the money at the moment, and I like Ginger. I like the fact that she likes listening to all my adventurous stories, so we're just going to tell her just to keep them. Thank you very much. Oh my! I insist. Oh, she gave it to me anyway. All of our relationships just increased. So that happened once before with, um... Who was it? Goodness gracious. Um... Oh, it was Mars. And you could see along the side there that because my relationship increased with Ginger, I'm probably at an associate level with her now. Uh, my relationship also increased with Gust and with Gale and I believe with Russo. And we will interact. We will chat with her right away. I heard from Gust that you fought off a talking rodent. What was that like? I didn't even know rodents can talk. Well, there's Apu. But he's a bear. Who is Apu? Okay. Unless that's Papa Bear's name. We're weirdly off-center at the moment, but... Anyway. Were these pumpkins here before? Did they change the decoration? I mean, it's not actually... I mean, I think it's still summer. Yeah, it's still summer. Of course, maybe they're decorating for this little ghost thingy. So, can I... I think you've got to be at the buddy level. Yeah. So, if we look at our social now... Oh, wow. Okay. We are way past where Mars is. And that her specific relationship advances very quickly because of the story facet. Whenever you tell her stories, you get 20 or 30 relationship points. So, that's pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to the wrong mine, but I guess let's go this way. Less windy. Chiwa. Hi. First, let's I chat with you. Finally fish again. Thank you. Here. Have a fishing rod. Thank you very much. That was plus four in the relationship. Oh, speaking of which, that is one other thing that I kind of wanted to... I feel like the last time I was in here, the, the level needed to be reset. There weren't very many um, relics around. So we're going to get a combination of relics and iron today. I think I have some ideas of what I might like to try to gift to Dr. Zhu. And I believe I might try to do that in this episode. 
All right. All right, let's go way back here in the corner. Oh, yes, lots of relics down here. So obviously this is more stone. Um, I will try to get quite a bit of uh, iron before the end of the day, however. But this stuff is also necessary because this does sometimes provide um, data disks in some of these chests that you mine as well. And we are very low in those at the moment. Sometimes you also just find data disks just from mining. Magic lamp? Yeah, I definitely didn't have any pieces of that. I didn't... I don't think I knew that was a thing. Oh. Is that the same piece? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I got to the exact same piece. Um, anyway. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue mining here. And we are going to, like I said, get a combination of relics today. And also, oh look. We're kind of getting into the iron here as a matter of fact. Oh, and you can see I just got two data disks just from mining. So it wasn't actually from finding any chests. But we're going to do a combination of both. And I will catch up with you guys here. Um when I'm done mining for the day. So I will be right back. Alright guys, we are back. And you can see that it's about 11pm and I'm out of stamina completely. Well, except for one. Um, and I also did... Um, I actually took three of the spicy fish soups just because I wanted to mine. I ran out of stamina. I wanted to make sure I just had tons and tons of resources. Um, so I... I actually used three of those. We still have 40 left, so there's still plenty of those. You can see we got over a thousand of the iron ore. So um, what does that work out to? You? Thousand or 1134, I think. Uh, some tin, some lead, um, some manganese, and a little bit of sand, stone, and soil. I got those backwards. Soil, stone, and sand. Um, we also got uh, we got a spring. We got some more valves, some more lubricant. Found an agricultural data chip. Two, which is for Ack. Um, I don't know if I've already got that one or not, but we will find out when we get back. Only found one power stone, which actually occurred on camera when we found one of those little crates. We actually managed to get another 20 data disks. So you remember we started with seven. Um, so we found 20 more of those and one old part. Then I did also get, I got two of these, which of course occurred while I was still recording. Uh, Magic Lamp piece one. Then I got Owl Clock piece two. Soldier with Axe piece two. Soldier Receptor piece 4, and I have this, and I have no idea. Recording Planet Explorers, some video recording from the old world. It shows off some science fiction show. Um, I don't know if that's something that I can give to Petra. I have no idea. My character didn't say anything about it when, so there's not a mission for it. Um, and my character didn't say anything about it when I found it, so I honestly have no idea what that specifically is for. I guess we'll find out. For now, let's go home. Because we are completely out of energy, and so we are going to want to call it a day. Make sure we get everything reset here. Are these done? Eight hours. I remember we ran out of... Um, Okay, I saw that counting down from like three seconds. I see it now. It was uh, eight days and like three seconds. So we are kind of running out of fertilizer. I don't know if I can make any more. Uh, I don't know if I've got the stuff to make anymore. Let's put it that way. Uh, that should give me 25 more. You can see there, that's what I missed the first time. It says that it's fertilizer times five. Do you need to be doing anything? I don't know that it does at the moment. Um, all right, more glass. Just because we this is another thing we just have just so much of. There's 1,500 sand available. And as I mentioned, we will have to get into the copper mine as well in the near future. Though I don't expect that I will probably be doing that in this episode. 
because I actually already have plans for tomorrow, which I will tell you about tomorrow. We're going to build the suspense. I really have a hard time getting to that cutter for some reason. All right, anything else for you? I don't think I can make any more, though. No, those require 10. So this can actually go pretty much all day. I don't know if I want to make more charcoal yet, though, because I want to make sure I can fuel all of my furnaces. I honestly don't know how much stone... Um, sorry, not stone. You can't fuel them with stone. I don't know how much wood I have. So far, so good. Alright, get this working on more steel. And... Yeah, we're out of wood, because it only allowed me to fuel up to 27 on this one. Okay, so no more charcoal this evening. We'll grab this. We'll go ahead and stick that in here. We will sort everything else into its respective chests. Um, are we out of space for... Oh my goodness. That's kind of a constant problem, it seems like. Alright, so we apparently did not have chip four. So we'll put that in there. And we didn't have some of these relics. And these, of course, come from the iron mine, so they go into relics, too. I think I might keep this on me and see if I can take it to Petra. And I think I had determined that my crafting chest was... Oh, no, it was full, and then I moved some stuff out. That's right. Okay. So let's just sort everything in our inventory. All right, we are going to go to sleep for the evening because it is, of course, 1 a.m. Okay, so... Let's grab our resources here. Okay, it does appear to be the 51 wood, so that's good. From Emily. Hey, Hawk. On one of my walks, I noticed what you built for Dawa and the tree farm. I was wondering if you could do something similar for our farm. Stop by sometime and we can chat about it. Emily. Oh, God, I hope she doesn't want the whole water wheel and everything. That was expensive. Uh, Research Center. They're going to mail me the results within six days. Okay, so six days, that means it's the 22nd, I believe. All right, so first things first, we need trees, and we need a lot of them. I mean, we don't need a ton this morning, but we're going to need just a lot of them for to get through the day. Um, I guess I can convert some of my hardwood to wood. That's one option as well. But for now, there's some trees that are available here fairly quickly. Alright guys, I'm just going to keep chopping here for a minute. I will be right back with you when I'm done, and then we'll discuss our plans for the day. Okay guys, we are back, and I did do a lot of tree chopping, but I also just noticed that Emily's walking by, and of course she wants to talk to us about setting up some sort of water system at the farm so i figured i'd jump back in here Hello. so that we can catch her i try not to tell my granny everything happening around our town such as the dirty water she'd only become needlessly worried i can understand that emily's well hey did you get my note watering the fields can be a real hassle especially when granny's back is acting up could you help me by creating an easier way to get the water uh sounds like a sprinkler system to me Great! I was thinking we needed a well, along with a way to pump the water out. That way, Granny doesn't have to strain her back so much. You got it! Don't forget, we'll need something to store the water in. I'll see what I can do. I'd check with the research center on building that well. 
They're the ones who helped the Civil Corps set up a well by the clinic. Okay, which sounds like we're probably going to need um, data disks again. Um, by the way, you will notice that I lost some health. That's because I chopped down a tree that happened to have a bee's nest in it. So, still no big, big pumpkins, huh? I wonder what the recipe is to make the pumpkin pie. Hmm. All right, I do have one more pumpkin seed here, and I think I've got one in a chest. So let's sow that. I think... Were these ones that could only be planted... Yes, yeah, spring and summer, so there's no reason I shouldn't just plant these now. Everything else I can grow year-round, so... While I have the chance, I will go ahead and plant the pumpkins. So, we're going to store our 413 wood we got. And we're going to go ahead and refuel the small furnaces as we always do in the mornings. And while we are refueling, we will... Um, talk about the events of the day. First of all, I mentioned that I have some ideas about maybe some things that I would like to gift to Dr. Zhu. So again, I like to try things and I like to kind of experiment before I go looking things up on the internet. Because um, that's a little too, it's a little too easy that way, right? Sometimes I like to learn by trying. Um, so I figure that he is, of course, a man of education right so i'm thinking that potentially things that would you would think about like simple desks or bookshelves that he might be interested in those types of things so i'm going to make a bookshelf and we are going to go give that <laughs> that's enormous okay um we're gonna try to go give that to dr Zhu. Oh, and I never stopped in and got the... I was supposed to do that. I was supposed to go in and get a commission yesterday, and I did not do that. Alright, let's see what we got here. Four pieces of glass. That's simple. It's a very low return one. Uh, two stone tables, also very low return. Two iron pans for Sonya. We're going to take that one. Okay. And we're going to go actually do those quickly because there was actually something else I wanted to grab while I was there. Or while I was at my house, anyway. Whoops, I'm stuck on the uh, church podium. Kind of just ran into uh, oaks there. And apologies, I was just looking for some notes. Um... What was I making? Pans. Iron pans. Okay. And part of the reason I wanted to come back is I wanted to get the items to make the... I want to get the items to make the shed. So I needed ten hardwood planks... Oh, I needed 10 ironwood planks, and I don't have enough for that. Okay, well, scratch that. We will at least get this going, making some more of them. Here, just craft five. This is completed. And I was going to get this going on some additional lead bars, now that we have some lead. How much does this take? We got a fair amount. Craft 15 more of those. Okay. Okay, now. To Sonia. Hi! 
that one first. Django didn't show it on the outside? I think he was worried enough that he was about to run into the ruins to solve the issue with the water himself. <laughs> no worries, I did it for you. Lovely, hope to see you at the round table soon. All right, there's that. Does he have any recipes he can teach me? Cool is here. Hey! Recipes. What do you want to learn today? I have a few dishes to share. Use lettuce as an ingredient. Oh, here's pumpkin. I wonder if it is the pumpkin pie. Let's see. Um, a wise choice. I have a dish called pumpkin steamed rice. Okay, so this is exactly what he gave me before, except he told me it was with red mushrooms. So apparently you can also use it with shaggy mane. I get that they want to teach you the different variations of the recipes, but I do kind of wish I didn't have to pay for recipes that I already know and you change out one ingredient. So, I mean, obviously that was still, it was a, what was a rice and pumpkin and some sort of mushroom. All right, Dr. Zhu. Hello. Let's chat with you first. You go on adventures often? Keep some drugs at hand and remember the doctor's advice. All right, and we are going to gift you a bookshelf. Thanks. I hope I like it. Okay. Well, but its relationship went up plus one, so I guess at least he didn't hate it. And do you sell... No. Where would we buy those? Here we go. Okay, those are expensive. I thought maybe that they sold those bandages. I mean, these still aren't bad. Actually, let's take some of these. Here. Because... I don't know why I didn't think to bring anything along. Because the other thing I wanted to do today... We are kind of running high on time as far as the length of the episode. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, is that I was going to go back into the collapsed wasteland and try to see about getting some more of those engines. But first we're going to ask about the whatever Emily needs. Well, and something to pump the water out, huh? Should be relatively easy. Bring me five data disks and I'll get started on the research. You have them. Great. It'll take a while to analyze all the data. I'll contact you when we have something. Which will probably be tomorrow morning, as it normally is with those types of things. Anyways, yes, I forgot to grab some healing foods. I think I've got stamina, got stamina, defense, and critical chance, but I didn't have anything that was specific to health. So we're going to use that. We are going to go to the... It is the right place, right? Yeah. I don't know why it says sewage plant stop, and I, that just kind of caught me off guard. I was expecting, I guess, to say the... All right. There's those really big birds. Okay. This is going to consume four hours of our day if we do level 18 to 21. How much time do we have in the day? We got plenty of time. All right, we'll go to the next level and see what we can get. And I do know that these levels start to get longer and longer, so... Ah, you got me anyway. Alright, you. And now we got a bandy rat in the mix and another jump dancer coming at me. I'm in the green goo. And I was okay with that at the moment, because I just needed those guys to die. I wonder what the chances are I can get um, animal skeletons in here. So that I can upgrade my sword. Industrial engine is not actually what I need. I 
I mean, so far, no. All right. Yes, I know, I'm getting poisoned. I'm in the green goo. I have the ability to be a little more um, free with that, just because I've increased my health pretty high. Ah, they got me anyway. By the way, for those of you that were wondering, this is actually not something that you can grab. It does bring up a prompt when you go past it, but that's because you can actually use this to exit um, this particular ruin, just in case, it's like, it's a way out in case you're, um, you know, low health or just running, you just don't want to finish things or whatever. <laughs> Okay. Sure, you come on down here. It makes it easier for me. Another engine. That's rude. He's stuck in the water, so I'm gonna let him go for the moment. Get the guys that are not stuck in the water. Oh. Well, he's stuck in the water, but if I'm stuck in the water... Probably shouldn't be in the water so much. My health is going down quite a bit. Alright. Like I said, we're getting a little long in the episode, but I am going to try to finish this specific level of the mine before we call it an episode. Rude. There you go. Hey. Oh, we leveled up, but all the people respawned, including a bandy rat. I'm not quite sure how, but my health regenerated. Wow, that was a crit of 430. Did you see that? All right, let's see here. Seriously, what regenerated my health? I'm going to have to watch that back on the video. Yeah, I guess I was looking... Everybody's trying to get me. Okay. Oh, stop giving me your bones and teeth. Give me your skeleton instead. Alright, jump dancer first if we can. Or we can inadvertently target the bandy rat. All three is actually better. Oh gosh, they respawn. Jump dancers, die! Okay. Oh my gosh, they respawn again. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um... Okay, normally you're when you go to attack. Uh, uh. 
Normally when you go to attack, your character just kind of goes flying in. Sometimes it doesn't work and the, uh... I thought some of these boxes were able to be... I haven't been... Some of them were not breaking, so I've not been... Huh. I wonder how many of those I missed. Because they give me money and apple slices and things. Okay. Let's go up here and get the treasure chest. Another industrial engine. I will have a heck load of those. Alright. This floor and then the floor with the big baddie. Hello. What do you have for me? Lubricant. Okay. Um. I mean, I'm okay if you respawn out here. There's more room to maneuver. Nothing in here, though, right? Nope. So that caused a respawn out here. Oh, I don't have an- Oh my gosh, I'm out of stamina. Alright, um, let's back up here just a bit. Stamina. Alright. I do like when they group up, and I can kill them all together. Alright, and then there's a jump dancer up there, which I would really like to be down here. Alright, my health is not great. Alright, let's use some of Dr. Zhu's. As far as I'm aware, the end guy doesn't change. He just gets either, like, more health or something like that. So... so he just takes longer to kill, but I don't think his pattern changes at all. What did he just do to all the boxes? Okay. That was a little, uh, more worrisome. Got my health down to... What is that? Oh, it was a circuit. I did use a bunch of those, uh, healing things from Dr. Zhu. So it's a good thing I had them. Uh, way out is over here. We are going to exit. Okay. We're going to go back to the Peach Plaza stop, and I'm going to use my last 34 stamina points to chop down whatever trees happen to be right here by the 
Uh, as soon as I put my axe back in its place. But that is going to be where we end this episode. So I'm going to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and comment, and also subscribe so that you're notified of future videos. But for now, my name is Hawk, and this has been My Time at Portia, and I will catch you guys next time.